Right, we're just in the process of changing over this lead pipe. This is the mains water pipe which keeps leaking. It goes down this way, under the floor and out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break open a channel here with Nick the plumber. I'm going to basically cut out a section here and replace the pipe around here. And then when we redo the driveway we can replace the rest of the lead to plastic up to where the uh, kind of stop cock is at the street. So yeah, we're just going to break this open now and see what we can find. Right, we found our pipe. We were digging over this way because we weren't entirely sure because in, in, in the house just kind of behind here we can see that it went off at an angle and down deep but there was no way for us to figure out exactly where but actually giving this amount of space to work with is actually more helpful so normally pipes are around 75 centimeters below ground we are at 60 odd so that's fine that's that's absolutely fine what we're going to do is we're going to chop it here, we're going to change it for plastic this way into the house and then when we redo the driveway we'll change it from plastic this way out to the water mains. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this is part of the reason why we're changing it because it just moves it a little bit and it is leaking. Yeah. But we've switched it off at the road so that will start to ebb out now. Just after we dug this hole, it basically started hailing, as you can see, which is um, really helpful. So we've dug, dug the hole and we have drilled through and we've got that hole on the other side of the wall, on the inside of the house. So the pipe will basically kind of travel up into here and then we'll sink it down and we're going to connect it here at this point. We are just about to run the new plastic pipe internally. We've lifted this here so we can see where we're running into. Got the old lead pipe and we're just kind of making preparations now in here to get everything ready. That's the new gas pipe that's coming in that will replace this one here and it's about three degrees today so perfect time to be having all the uh, all the doors and windows open front and back There's the tape. So that's the one that we push through because it's rigid and this is the one that then uncoils after where it's a bit more flexible. Maybe to hold that. Yeah, hold that there first. Yep. God, there's a lot of tension on it, isn't it? Ah, it's, this, it's, it's not being pushed back, it's being pulled back by yeah. the spring. That spring is pulling it back. You got it? All right. That's great. Right, you got a hold of that? I've got a hold of that. Okay. So now we need to feed that. I think it's down and to the left, actually, to the left of that rafter. Okay, oh, through here? Yeah, when we go down, like down and under.
Yeah, that's it. Let me go and pull from the front. No, you're not through yet, mate. Shall I hold that? Or um, is it a bit, a bit right? Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. No, you can see it. it. Well, I'm going to. Right. Hang on, mate. Okay. Yep, the there it is. Yep, we're through. I've pulled a decent bit extra just yeah, in case. Perfect. Last thing we want is it pinging back in. <laughs> I go and turn the mains off at the road as well. No, we're going to do that after we've turned it up that side. Ah, oh, good thinking. And then that's going to be the last. Um, Fine. The last that we do. Fine. If there's any movement or from the pressure jumping around with the pipe got slight vibration, even though it shouldn't because it'll have a pea shingle and sand and yeah. the, the dirt around there. That will protect it from yeah. damaging that that blue pipe. Nice. So we'll connect it up in the house and then switch it off of the road and cap it off and whatever else. Right, so we're just feeding this insulation, getting the pipe as insulated as we possibly can the whole way along. It's funny, the old lead pipe had absolutely nothing but belt and braces because it does get very cold for insulating it. Final piece of the puzzle in this is to connect up the new blue mains that we've got onto the old lead. That lead is still feeding the property, so Nick. It's just switching it off at the road there. We've got this connector here, and this is a, obviously a, a connection that will go onto the plastic, but it also goes onto the lead and is very secure. And it's got little, little pipe inserts as well that help support so the pipes don't get crushed. We will be changing this lead over at some point in the not too distant future. We will be redoing the whole of this driveway. And at the point that we dig it all up, to be able to redo it, we will then be replacing that lead with plastic the whole way back up to the to the mains. Right, so we're shutting off the stopcock from the street. Often you'll open these up, they'll be full of water. A little tip, instead of backing it out, if you get a rubble sack, put it down there, put your hand down there into the rubble sack and then just turn it off. Nice. Your hand doesn't get wet. Nice. So that's smart. Yeah, you know, it, it can stay. Because these smart meter things are fully enclosed, aren't they? They're, yeah. They're, you know, do not remove. So, yeah, just always put the lid down. Just stop someone tripping over it when they're walking, yeah. walking by when you're doing your work. That's a smart tip. The garden tap just to leave whatever pressure's in there. Yeah, fine. Bed last time. Yeah, this is it mate. In fact I remember you pushing it down in order to uh, close that up. I 
because this is an open end, there's going to be a redundant pipe. I'm just going to squeeze it shut because I don't want to. I haven't got a cap to put over at the end of it. Yeah. Turn on the road. Nothing coming out, which is always a good sign. Water's meant to stay in the pipes. We'll get pressure up back on the boiler. I'll go and check the outdoor tap. Turn it on at the mains. In the house. We've got our own stopcock internally. Air out. So now it means we've been able to cut this temporary loop out. Mm -hmm. So we can slowly then, I'm guessing, pull that out and back to life as normal. Outside. Yep, crimp inside as well. Should end up pulling out when you tug on the other end, right? Yep. Goodbye, temporary loop. Okay. Very nice. So, that is how you switch over a water mains. I know this video is coming in a number of different parts, and to really wrap it up, what we're going to be doing now is filling this. We're going to enclose the, the whole of this pipe in P-shingle and we're going to put you know, some uh, sand blinding around it and all the rest of it just to really enclose it nicely. I'm going to do that off camera because I need to go and pick some up and I've got some bits to do now. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to close this up again. But we've got lots of type 1 here that we can put down and it gives you a very good switch over, much better pressure. We had good flow anyway, but this, this is just going to be so much better for the whole system now. Hope you found that helpful, useful. Do like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff, and I will see you on the next video.